Hello! Hello. I'm Gita Jackson. And I'm Tim Rogers. And you're watching Kotaku XP E3 edition. Yeah, because hell yeah. it's it's Kotaku X3, E3, which stands for Electronic 3. Uh, more, uh, E3 would just sound for E. <laughs> <laughs> e. Last year, during a live stream for Kotaku.com at E3, I said, hello and welcome back to Electronic 3. And the very first comment in the chat was, WTF, this guy doesn't even know what E3 stands for. It stands for Electronic 3. It stands for Electronic 3, guy in the comments. Um, more importantly than this, these, these issues of semantics, there's an announcement to make, and that is that today is my birthday. It's big boy, baby boy's big boy, baby boy birthday. It's his and, big boy, uh, baby boy birthday. I'm 39 years old. Which, when you're over the age of 35, you can round up. So let's just say I'm 40 years old. Uh, deal with it. He's a beautiful man, you know. It's Every time I mention man. my age in a YouTube video, uh, there's a comment that's like, "You're lying. He's not actually that age." So why do you have to say that? It's He's like, 39 years I'm old. I'm 39 years old. I know old, it's man. impossible to believe, but you too can look like this at the age 39 if you drink two gallons of water a day. Two gallons of water a day. Two. Multiple green tea supplements. Don't drink the green tea. Take the supplements. It's, it's delicious, but the supplements are better. So, I have a little story about my birthday. It's not about my birthday. It's about somebody else's birthday. About birthdays in general. So, I have a... You know, everybody's got stories about teachers who, like, positively influence their life, right? Yeah, I got a couple. So, I have a, I have a teacher in high school who taught us to never use the words very or thing in, in prose writing, which inspired me toward decades of obsession over the words that I use and uh, thanks a lot Mrs. Parker Davis however this is about a teacher by the name of Mr. Basil Smotherman that is a name it's wow an incredible name a basket Basil. A, a local basketball hero and a basketball star and a basketball man and he was a basketball coach at North Central High School in Indianapolis Indiana one day he wasn't there no he wasn't, okay, the day before, he said, you're going to be having a substitute teacher tomorrow, right? Yeah. And uh, the kids in the class loved him because he was the basketball coach and the drawing teacher. So one of the one of the kids goes, Mr. Smotherman, and then, or, well, no, he called him coach. I'm messing my story up. He said, coach, why aren't you going to be here tomorrow? And... Coach Basil Smotherman said, and I quote, because tomorrow is my birthday and I don't work on my birthday. And I was like, wow. So that's why I watched uh, Mario Maker streams on Twitch all day while eating two protein bars instead of one. And now I'm gonna talk about E3, which is the philosophical question is, is this something I would be doing anyway? Or is it my job? Would I be doing this anyway? Do you think? Um, I mean, I'd probably be talking to you about E3 anyway, you know? Kaboom. So, welcome back to Daddy's Bingo. I didn't mean to call it that. You I did. did. I didn't mean to call it that. Yeah, you did. Damn, it's okay. It's gonna be okay, Tim! I can't wait for day two of E3. <laughs> what about day? I mean, yeah, we've already experienced day one of E3, according to the E3 Twitter account. Day one's the hard part. Day one's already wrapped. Yeah, so. and it's it's already over. It's already over. Uh, I can't wait for day two of E3 because then I'll have seen all the games and the danger of a heart attack will have adequately subsided. Um, so what we're going to do today is we're going to talk about what's going to happen at E3. Yeah. And I have I have a little schedule of stuff on this beautiful uh, TV. Yeah. There's a giant TV in front of us. There's a whole list of games we're going to chat about. So I, I got some opinions. I got some opinions about all of them. We're going to try to go through these pretty fast uh, because I'm an idiot. And uh, if, if we don't go through them fast, we'll be here all day. Uh, shout me out in the comments if you wouldn't mind being here all day. Uh, and, <laughs> and we will promptly ignore you. <laughs> because if I were here all day, where else could I be? We got to sleep sometime. Sleeping rules. I love to sleep. So let's talk about Sony. All right. Sony has won E3 several years in a row. Is that what you say? 
It's yeah. Like, that seems to be the uh, the game liker consensus that they've won E3. Yeah, I mean, uh, last year they talked about a bunch of games that I wanted to play, and then they put them all out. That yeah. was pretty tight. Well, they, you didn't, know? they didn't put out. So last year at their press conference, first of all, it was like a much more subdued press conference. Yeah. It was in this big fancy hall. They had a live orchestra. They showed a bunch of games, but it was very fast. Yeah, I because remember they've done be a bunch appreciating of little, that. Yeah. Little announcements before. Yeah. They had this really long pre-show where yeah. they announced a bunch of stuff with trailers, you know, which was kind of nice. It uh, allowed them to just have more time to talk about the bigger games that they want to spend a long time talking about. Yeah. Like that weird Last of Us 2 thing where they had the, the man, like the men just hanging from the ceiling. Yeah. It was a really like, weird stuff. Really weird thing. Whose man's was that? This I don't know whose man's is. Whose or man's was, was that? that? Uh, it was. It was. Uh, yeah. It was. Was it Spider Man's? It may have been Spider Man's man's. Whose Whose man's is Spider Man's? Whose man's is Spider Man's? So, I. There's a Spider Man game. Yeah. And it looks uh, like maybe the best game that I've seen in a very long time. I, I'm i going to be real. I wasn't really enthused about another Spider-Man game. I think I suffer from Spider-Man fatigue like a lot of the Marvel movie watchers have because there's uh -huh. been a lot of Spider-Man movies. Just Different a whole lot of them. So many Spider-Mans. Um, but this game looks fun as heck. It looks, Super it looks duper wild fun. and weird. Yeah. It's got that. I, I love the idea of Sony now like owning the... Spider-Man video games. I don't love the fact. I mean, it's it's. I don't love the fact that several game likers are not going to be able to play it because it's only on one console. Mm -hmm. However, I like the idea of Sony putting all this money into a what is ostensibly and essentially a licensed game. Yeah, it's, it's a character. They're putting all this money into it, and they it's like Ratchet and Clank money. Yeah, you know. Yeah, like. And it's just it's this big, beautiful-looking game. And last year, they did not announce a release date for it, which was really sad. I remember seeing the, the commercial, uh, and then it's like it says 2018, and I was really mad. But it's coming out on September 7th. What a wonderful birthday present for me. Is that my your birthday? Bir 13th. But it's, 13th. Close it's close enough so that I can have it on my birthday. You can have it sitting on your table for six days. Before yeah, I will be very good and not play it until my birthday. Maybe I'll wait exactly three months for my birthday to play it. I think you should. Uh, <laughs> it looks so good. It's got Miles Morales in it. I'm excited about that. I guess I'm going to play it at E3 because... Probably that's something that uh, the, so Tim, the, the people out there are interested in. Tim is going to E3. I am not going to E3. He's field team. I'm home team. So yeah. that's um, uh, that's what's going to go down. If, if you wanna if you wanna see me at E3, I'll be face down in my hotel pool uh, every <laughs> night, possibly until I die. <laughs> Let's move on to the next game, The Last of Us Two. First of all, Naughty Dog, you idiots! You should have called it. Some more of us. They really should have called it some more of like, us. Like, come on. Like, uh, you wonder for years, what is the crime the dog committed? I think we have unearthed it here, right? It's forgetting the obvious joke. Decades of wondering what the crime is that the dog committed. The Last of Us 2, we haven't actually seen any sort of a game playing We've seen experience. a cut scene. A couple That's of cut scenes. A couple of cut scenes. They're all brutally violent. Or... Like, just kind of over-the-top dramatic. Yeah. Yeah. It is, like, um, the apiosis of, like, the way that prestige television is infecting dramatic video game writing, I think. And, yeah. And that's just sort of, like, I I hope with The Last of Us 2, this kind of approach to cutscenes and drama fizzles out a little bit. You know, I know that people liked the plot of The Last of Us, and I think... The, the turn at the end was it was earned it was, it was elegant, very uh, you know? it was very well written I'm actually wearing my the last of us uh, t-shirt see this this was this was given out uh, to Sony booth people oh, at e3 2013 that's cool that's cool it's, a, it's a, a perfect replica of the shirt that Ellie wears in the that's first awesome in the first part I did of the not game know that yeah so that, that, that rules um yeah I I just feel like I've played enough video games where people say they're deep because sad things happen to all the characters yeah. in them, you know? And I hope Ellie just can't escape that cycle of misery and death. That yeah. would be cool for me. What's going to happen? We're going to find out in The Last of Us Part 2, Chapter 2. I, I assume we're two. going to find out in The Last of Us 2. Book 2. They should call it Game 2. 
like a like a like a sports series, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah they right? really should. Um, our, the next game on our list, probably nothing sad is going to happen in Days Gone, which is a game about a bad Day butt biker dude. Days Gone, the game where the first time I saw the trailer, I thought it was The Last of Us Two up until the end of the trailer, even after they said the words Days Gone, because you I thought was it was confused. The Last of Us Two colon Days Gone. Yeah, I thought it was. It, it's a it's a big time zombie game. It's a big time zombie game. And you got a motorbike. It's a biker gang. It's and you're just your wife's born to be dead, wild. I think. Your wife I mean, let's do a count of how many dead wives. Dead wife, bad life. Yeah. As I say. That's what they teach you in writing school. Yeah. So if, if you want to make your character's life bad, kill that wife. Yeah. Kill the wife. Worsen the life. Exactly. That's, That's exactly what we learned. So his wife is dead. Yep. And in order to exorcise his rage, he kills millions of zombies. That's enough about that game. Who cares? No one cares. I, I actually, I'll play it. I mean, it's definitely. Well, we're going to play all of these. Yeah, we're, I'm going to play. I mean, they, they, I think it actually looks really good. We just have a lot of work to do here. Yeah. No, not work. Fun. Because I don't work on my birthday. <laughs> Death Stranding. This game's never going to come out. So. <laughs> Uh, I, I don't I don't care if it never comes out because the previews for Death Stranding are the most interesting thing. You can't say that they're milking sadness or no, whatnot in those. No. They're they're milking they're pure this, joy. It's this, just like it's just art. Yeah. It's like I hope the game is it art. just watching one trailer with no gameplay at all every year. So I know that I know that Hideo Kojima loves uh English words like meme gene scene. He likes making weird rhymes and stuff. Yep. Kojima. I don't know what the gameplay is in Death Stranding. I'm sure we're going to find out. I'm pretty sure we're going to find out at E3. Maybe there will be a release window mentioned. Kojima, listen to me. Battle Royale games are very popular. You need to make a mode in Death Stranding. What it's 100 it? players and it's called Last Man Stranding. Yes. Okay. You need to do it. And dude. what you're doing is all of you are the sperm trying to impregnate the egg that is Norman mm -hmm. Reedus' uh, throat fetus baby. Norman Reedus' throat fetus. Yeah. You so know what? That's I, the game, right? Yeah. That's yeah, Death get, Stranding. Get into his throat. I can't. I, oh, never mind. <laughs> the, 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 the next game on this list of Ghosts of, Ghost of Tsushima. Uh, what is this game? I don't know this one. You don't know this one? It's no. the Sucker Punch game about the samurai. Oh, this game looks cool. This game looks really cool. <laughs> it has idiot bonkers graphics. The it graphics does look have incredible. idiot bonkers graphics, man. It's like the graphics look so much. And it's, I, I mean, I, I like Sucker Punch because mm -hmm. they're kind of like the stepchild of the Sony first party studios. Yeah. They've got Sly Cooper, which is Good. weird Ratchet and Clank. Yep. Right? And then they've got... Uh, infamous, I pronounce it infamous because it's like camel case letters, so I presume you're supposed to call it that, right? Yeah. Then we got infamous, which is like, it's like weird something else. It's like weird, weird Batman, weird yeah, Superman. Yeah, it's weird it's Batman, like, yeah. Like defamiliarized superhero is the, uh, the, yeah. the, 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 the fiction, the literary industry term for that. He's defamiliarized. So if they're making a hardcore uh, bad butt samurai dude game, Maybe it's cool, right? Yeah, maybe. I I hope so. I I think it'll be weird, look good, and I'd like I like some samurais. I'm sure we're gonna hear like about them. like some kind of a release window thing. So these like you know something, right? I mean, yeah. these are all games that we know that they've already announced that we're just wondering if what the details are. So this next game is uh, Dreams. Yeah. You know Dreams, the, the media dreams. molecule game. That's yeah. apparently gonna be at E3. I've heard some I haven't played interesting it. things about it. Um, yeah. It's like a tool you can use also to make games. It seems pretty and wild. It's uh, sort of a, 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 what's it called? Um, not a predecessor, antecedent. That's what the, the word they An use. An antecedent. Yeah, to like games like uh, Minecraft and Little Big Planet. Yeah. So a, a game that's also a game making tool. I've heard from people who played it, I've heard some, uh, some things that make me excited to see what the presentation they'll do will look like um, to hear from my colleagues that are going to play it. I've heard that 
One game that they show off to show off the kinds of games you can make with it is one called Please Hug Me, where you're a dot surrounded by other dots and you try to go and hug all the dots, but they all get farther and farther away from you as you get closer and closer to them, and then it just fades out. So when they say dreams, they're talking about the actual dreams that I have. Yes. Excellent. Somehow they manage to read your mind and then make a game out of all the things you think, which means that this game is going to be Game of the Year 2018. So, Little Big Planet, when are they going to make Huge Tiny Planet? Okay, forget it. <laughs> Moving on. The Huge Tiny Planet. Um, so, they uh, just yesterday this was announced, and I'm excited to play it. I mean, I actually am. I know that sounded like I was being sarcastic. There's a game called Tetris Effect. Mm-hmm which is named after the effect of seeing Tetris pieces when your eyes are closed after playing much Tetris. And it's by Tetsuya Mizuguchi, mm-hmm. uh, who's, who's just a beautiful man. He's a wonderful individual. He's a spicy meatball. Yeah, he's, he's excellent. He made games like Rez, so deal with it. <laughs> uh, Child of Eden, boom. Yeah, that happened, and you didn't play it. Because I honestly, I played it for like a couple minutes. It was a Kinect game. What was I supposed to do? So... Tetsuya Mizuguchi is making a Tetris. He made Luminous, also known as Tetris with Squares. So now the Tetris company has seen fit to give him the rest of the Tetris pieces. So they could, wow. call, it, they could call it Restris is one joke. Um, Tetsuya Mizuguchi could change his first name to Tetruya Mizuguchi if he really wants to go all in. And my final joke is, I think the better name for this game, which is 4K, 60 FPS, HDR, and it's going to just be so bright and just face burning coming out of like a beautiful OLED television. It's, it's going to be a true, you want to see what a 4K TV actually is kind of experience when you yeah. bring somebody over to your house. This is what a 4K TV is. Like, I think they could just call it, and this is like, this is serious. Just rename the game. You've got a celebrity involved. Rename it Tetsuya Mizuguchi's Expensive Tetris. I think that's a great idea. Or Luxury Tetris. I don't know. Anyway. Moving on. What uh, what else are they going to have at their press conference? There's going to be Kingdom Hearts 3. Yeah. That game's never coming out either. So I'm mentioning Kingdom Hearts 3 right now because like later we're going to have another opportunity to make some jokes about it. Okay, cool. Because... Is Kingdom Hearts the easiest game in the world to make jokes about? Yes. It's two things that I think video game fans love to joke about. Uh, yeah. Stuff from their childhood and stuff from Square. Exactly. Yeah. It's just, it's it's like a Disney world of and, stuff to uh, make fun of. And celebrity voice actors Tons also. Tons of celebrity voice they actors. They love making fun of celebrity voice actors, I'd say. I, I love that stuff myself. So Kingdom Hearts 3. Never coming out. Uh, there. I mean, or maybe it is. Maybe they're going to announce it. What'll happen? See, this is why I'm excited for doubts. E3 Day 2. Because mm-hmm. that will mean I did not have a heart attack upon learning about Kingdom Hearts 3's right. possible release date. I, right? Yeah, that's true. That's true. Right? I mean, it'll I, mean I'm I won't. Ex- yeah. I'm excited for you to survive each day To not day have one. an aneurysm. Yes. I think an aneurysm is more likely. I hope me. you make it through, buddy. Yeah, I don't want. I don't want it to happen, but it's going to. Um, so, Kingdom Hearts three. Uh, that's obviously like Sony and Square are best buds. So it's, yeah. they're gonna they're gonna have something for that at their at their press conference. Definitely. Final Fantasy VII Remake. Never coming out. We're going to have Ever. an opportunity to talk about Ever this later. Out. So get just queue up your jokes. Uh, I guess that's going to be like a PlayStation thing. They're going to probably tease it again. Shenmue 3. The, like, the Final Fantasy VII and Shenmue 3 were both introduced at the same Sony press conference. Yep. Uh, two years ago. Several years ago. That's more than one year. So yeah, we need to see them again. Yeah. And... Uh, I hope it's just a comically tiny bit of information. It will be. <laughs> and then there's going to be Red Dead Redemption 2 at Sony. Yeah. They're probably going to get on stage and play Red Dead Redemption 2. I think that's going to be the big thing. Like they they delayed it recently, but that game yeah. is going to come out. And I, I, I'm I, sure that it was delayed because they managed to get into this bulk of the big part of the development and realize how much work it's going to be and had to push it back. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So that I wonder if this time we'll be able to tell if the horses have balls. Yeah. Will we? Will we? The people need to know. What are those horses dragging? <laughs> right? What are they dragging? What are they hauling? 
So, I mean, that's all the stuff that we know about, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. there's what about the stuff we don't know about that we haven't actually seen before? Because it's like everything we just talked about is stuff we've seen before. So, is Sony going to surprise us? Probably, right? Yeah, probably. I mean, the surprises are never that big at E3. People always want to get blow your mind surprises, but you're not going to get something that is going to, you're going to yell and scream about. I yeah. think that the closest time I got to being really pleasantly surprised was when Near Automata was announced. Yeah, that was Because that I was, was just wacky. like, what? Like, like, huh? What if, my friend Alex Jaffe tweeted this at me earlier when I asked for E3 suggestions, for like E3 predictions. He said it would be really cool if they announced that there's going to be a Near remaster of the original oh my god because not enough people got that to play that would be it. so good they should that would do be it great they should definitely do that so one thing that i think is going to happen at the sony announcement is from software's new game mm -hmm. which was teased at the game awards is going to actually get shown and uh if it's not bloodborne 2 i hope it's like a tenchu game that is a souls game a I, tenchu souls would be yeah. really cool what Ninja about souls. a kart racer Cart racer, uncharted cart. Just a really bleak cart racer where you have to memorize all of the tracks and they oh, have very tricky oh, yeah. trick turns. That would be very great. And dark carts, it could be called. Dark carts. That would be fantastic. I would do that. Dark carts. Or, well, I guess it would be called cart souls. Cart souls. It's like the easy joke there. Yeah. I like dark carts way better. Dark carts. Yeah. <laughs> I'm doing this because. Uh, <laughs> God, I'm hot under the collar, guys. I'm hot under the collar thinking about dark carts. <laughs> dark. Carts. It, uh, they should get the voice announcer from Resident Evil 4. Yes. To go uh, to do the announcement. Anyway. My favorite <coughs> my favorite fighting game announcer has to be the guy that just says, Soul Calibur 7 or whatever. Oh, my God. Is. I love that guy. Oh, this Welcome back to the stage of history. There's yes, going to be Soul yes, Calibur. Yes. There at, will at, be, right? At, There's one coming at, up. At E3. There's, yeah. It's probably going to be at the Sony thing because they love Soul Calibur. You know, they really need to get somebody... They need to get, like, Sean Bean to do the Soul Calibur announcement. Yeah. Sean Bean's voice work is fantastic in The New Civilization. I love yeah. hearing him yeah. to explain to me what the rules are. Was that him in the Hitman 2 trailer? I didn't watch that today. I was working. I believe it was him. If it wasn't, don't kill me. Um, so another rumor we have is uh, that Rocksteady, makers of the Batman games, right? Mm -hmm. I love the Batman games. That was me doing a, a Batman, like like a guy Batman beats up impression. Yeah. It's the Batman. Yeah, that's how they you sound. Know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A maker of the Batman games might be making a Superman game. To which I say, good luck, buddy. All who have tried have failed. However, I believe they can do it. I would prefer to have a Lois Lane game. Lois Lane? Yeah, at the Daily Planet where you're a journalist. I would love to do like a narrative game about being Lois Lane. They could call it Little Daily Planet. Because listen, yeah, it would be really great. <laughs> Listen, Lois Lane is, you know, she's the child of a, a military guy. She knows how to shoot a gun. She, mm -hmm. one time in a comic, she hijacked a, a helicopter and stuff. She can, she can do stuff. And that would solve the problem of Superman being too overpowered. So wait, a helicopter? Yeah. She can't fly a plane? Because <laughs> Lois Plane. I mean, that would be really dope. Yeah. Oh, we love that stuff. So my final note about Sony is yeah. at the booth, the thing I'm honestly most looking forward to is I want to try that scuff controller. Scuff being, you know, the buddies who who were, were contracted to construct the Xbox One Elite controller. Yeah. I believe this new controller may be their finest work yet. I, and I, I want to I I I literally too. get my hands on it. Hell yeah. I want to get my hands all over it. Let's continue. <laughs> Let's move on. We're going to talk about Microsoft. Uh, Microsoft, I'm going to admit, I'm going to tell you the truth. I really, I'm, I'm going to buy an Xbox One yeah. X. When I get back from E3. I always internally in my brain call that console the Xbox. The Xbox? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. yeah. See, man, you know what? When the Xbox One was announced and people started calling it the X-Bone, I didn't like that. I think that was the death knell for me. Like, I couldn't imagine owning something that people called an X-Bone. Yeah, I think that Even might have though, actually hurt them. I think actually, no, the, really the thing is the core concept of having it be your all-in-one entertainment center. Just, they couldn't convince people who are not gamers to buy into that. They could have called it X-Ball-in-One. Fuck. <laughs> no, they couldn't have. It's illegal. They couldn't have done that. <laughs> the X-Ball-in-One, uh, I just pushed my head against the wall. Uh, the X-Ball-in-One, um, you know... I mean, it's they could have called it like the X books with like two, three O's in there. 
That would have been better. That wouldn't have been like as weird as Xbox One. I mean, I'm, yeah. so it just was confusing. I'm going to buy an Xbox One X when I get back from mm. E3. I swear, because I like the Xbox One and I like Forza and I want to play Forza Seven and I want to play Forza Horizon Four, which might be announced at E3. Uh, so I am announcing Forza Horizon Four a little bit later than I thought I would. Forza Horizon Four. They're probably going to announce it. I want to play that in 4K HDR, native 4K HDR on my TV. That's the game where the cars look good? The game where the cars look uh, like this. They look uh, like this. Yeah, they're beautiful. Okay. They're cool, beautiful. Cool, cool. So, Crackdown 3 was delayed, right? Yeah. However, here's what I think. Got Jason Schreier on that tip, right? Yeah, yeah, he he delayed it. He's the man's. Yeah, he. Uh, we can't we can't stop him from doing this. I'm so sorry. He's, he delays video games. He just will come into the office and be like, I, he "Delayed another one, guys." Like we're like, like I actually I jumped back from my desk and stood up so fast I had a head rush because I heard this shrill cackling from a corner of the office, just cackling like like a warlock had just <laughs> had just produced his greatest potion yet, and. Uh, it turns out it was Jason Schreier because he he had just delayed a game. He just successfully delayed a game. I was like, oh God, what's been delayed today? He was really got to work on that shrill warlock laugh. Yeah, I mean, the it warlock really gives cackle. him away. That and all the cloaks he wears inside. The warlock. It doesn't make sense in the summer, dude. So he delayed Crackdown Three. Yeah. Um, here's what I think. I think they're gonna have a really good trailer because I think they haven't sold anybody on it. I think maybe, me. maybe that has something to do with why they're delaying it. It's like Crackdown 3, who remembers Crackdown 2? That, that was like was the response the I saw. Terry Crews trailer. Yeah. And like the Terry Crewsness, obviously everyone loves Taylor, Terry Crews. Everybody um, loves Taylor 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 Terry Taylor Crews. Taylor Crews. Is Everybody the, my my um the funk cup Taylor Swift cover band. There should be a movie. You remember that movie Vanilla Sky? Yes. Do you know where this joke is going? No. It starred Tom Cruise. Yes. And Penelope Cruz. Yep. Can we get Terry Crews? Yep. Tom Cruise and Penelope Cruz in the same movie? That Can would we get be that? so good. Vanilla Where is Sky it? Sky 2. It's Sky Harder. Hollywood, um, you fools. Yeah. So I, I also think Crackdown 3 is going to have a Battle Royale mode announced. Oh, yeah. If oh, any absolutely. game at E3 if is going to have a gonna Battle have a, Royale announced. It's going to be because that one's it just would make the most sense. So it really would. There's, there's a long shot rumor about Gears of War 5. With Gears of War... The four came out in 2016. You know, I saw something really so that's interesting like too today close. Yeah. on Twitter.com. Um, oh, 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 I bet. And that's... it was just Cliffy B retweeting a tweet from uh, someone, a screenshot of Dave Batista saying, "Yeah, I would really love to be Marcus Phoenix in Gears of War." Mm -hmm. And that means absolutely nothing. It means nothing about Gears of War coming out. But wouldn't that be amazing? That would be great. Wouldn't that be incredible. I saw several I people so much. tweeting that my buddy Jordan Vote Roberts, director of the film Kong Skull Island, available now. That's his buddy. 4K. Uh, the tweeting that he should direct it. Yeah, so that he's, would. He's the new guy own. everybody goes to with to direct the video game movie. That would own. That maybe, would totally own. Maybe I, we're going to be seeing some of him on some Kotaku videos at E3. Uh, so tune in for that. I won't be there. Yeah, you won't be there. <laughs> you can watch the videos. Where? Do you know how to click play? Then you can be at E3. <laughs> So, uh, if there's a Gears of War five, I don't. I think that's like a long shot because yeah. the last one came out just two years ago. I think that's a long shot, yeah. Um, however, I think if any game announced at E three is a good candidate for a battle royale mode, this is a joke that I've just made about Crackdown three. Okay. Uh, I think they could have a battle royale mode in Gears of War five, given that Gears of War two launched the horde mode, which a bunch of games stole. So they've got it, you know. Yeah. They got it coming back. Yeah. You know, and it's Unreal Engine, which is the same as Fortnite, so put it in there. And then the possibility, the the number the strongest rumor is Halo Six. You know, why not? Honestly, yeah. why not? Uh you like one Halo? I, Give me six of those. Right? I, I, Halo is was a is an extremely ubiquitous ubiquitous part of my like life mm -hmm. all throughout high school and college, and it's weird to me that there isn't a new Halo. Every time there isn't a new Halo, I'm like, why isn't there a new Halo? So you were saying all E3's my not always about Halo. people screaming. However, I've been to 15 E3s, which is the worst thing I've ever said. That's a lot life. of E3s. Um, and I remember screams. I remember the shrill, shrill screams. Um, of of Halo 2 being announced. Not even Halo 2. There were shrill screams that they're seeing Halo 2. But then when Master Chief's left hand comes into frame holding a second space Uzi, like you could have sworn that the place was literally on fire. 
like they were like people were just screaming like like they were they were out of their minds. So I'm not I'm pretty sure that Halo Six would not have a similar I don't reaction. I think they'd be able to find a way to make people scream like that again. I don't think so. So Microsoft Microsoft is a bit of uh they're a bit of an underdog here. Yes. Yeah. We don't um, we don't know what they have, but maybe so that maybe that's good though. Narelle Hussong, who does our like Tay, which talks amongst yourselves, or reader uh -huh. blogs, she she helps run that. She's been doing our blog posts about whether or not people have uh kept their promises this year from last E three. And going through the Microsoft one, they they largely did keep their promises. They did promise much though. Yeah, they did they promised forty two games. Yeah. That were coming out that year. Most of them did actually come out. Um, they were pretty varied and you know, interesting games. And th they, it's just that it was sort of like what they they made it seem a lot more exciting than it was. Yeah. They, they just re announced a normal amount of games of various sizes to come out throughout the year. You so, know, it's, it's fine. It's just fine. It's, it's fine. fine. So it's fine. There's there's I, I think I think that Microsoft has a chance. Of, they certainly do have a lot of money. Yeah, they are like not the, short on the, money. One of the biggest companies in the world. Yeah. You know how they get all that money? Is if you own a, a Windows PC and you try to launch Microsoft Word, it's installed on your computer, but then you have to pay to use it. That's where that's where it all comes from. That's where the billions, money comes billions, from. Billions, tens of billions of dollars. So they got all this money. Maybe they could announce like a bunch of new games, right? Yeah. Like like uh, some new IPs, intellectual properties. That would that be is. cool. I would like that. So uh, there's a strong rumor that there's a new fable, like a quote unquote proper fable reboot, and it's coming from a new studio under Playground Games. And non Molyneux. Non Molyneux. Yeah. Non Molyneux. Get he's he's gone. You know he's where. Molyneux. Know, he's blowing dandelion seeds in a field and calling that his next game or whatever. I don't know what he's doing. No offense to the guy. The guy rules. I've I've met and him. Honestly, he's hilarious. He's, 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 he seems really fun. So <laughs> Phil Spencer was tweeting and talking publicly a lot about that Xbox One backwards compatibility. Yeah. Uh, so it feels like they really love this whole backwards compatibility thing. You can buy Ninja Gaiden Black for ten dollars on the Xbox One and it's 4K and 60 that's FPS and it's beautiful. freaking awesome. And they released uh, Blue Dragon and then when they had like 100 games they released Lost Odyssey. Oh, Phil cool. Spencer seems to love those. So I think it's not impossible that they're gonna blow everyone's mind and announce a Blue Dragon 2. Cause Mistwalker's been making mobile games since they made uh, Last Story for the Nintendo Wii. And it's been like almost 10 years now since they've made a console RPG. I think there could be a Blue Dragon too. Don't that's let my, that's my Tim far Rogers down. Yeah, that's my far left field uh, uh, idea. Anyway, let's move on to what you've all been waiting for. Uh, Nintendo. Nintendo. So Nintendo put a Zelda and a Mario out in the same year in 2017. There is nothing they can possibly do that can top that. However, they've got Smash. Yeah, uh, Cecilia is very excited for Smash. She, oh yeah. She uh, thinks, and I think that it will just be a port of Smash for Wii U. Oh yeah. Absolutely not a new game, but new characters probably. I think. I think Linkle is a good bet. Oh, Linkle. Yeah. Yeah, if Linkle's not in there, uh, I'll be smashing some heads. I'm gonna slam my head into the wall until I'm basically some shoulders and some hamburger. Is what's gonna happen. Um. So here's what I think. I think they would they would be kind of dumb to not make it a new Smash game. They're not going to though. And they, yeah, maybe they won't. They they're not going to. I want I want there to be a single player campaign again, like the Subspace Emissary that. on the Nintendo yeah, Wii. I missed that one. It was stupid as that heck. That was stupid and fun. I yeah, got to I see uh, Metal Gear Snake Man. I want and hang it. Hang out with the friends. I god darn want it. <laughs> I'm watching a, a Chip and Ironic as his Let's Play of Metal Gear Solid Five, and I can't believe I forgot the name of Solid Snake right now. I'm so sorry. Solidus. There's m multiple snakes. Yeah, there's many snakes. There's so many snakes. There's at least two, according to the title of the GameCube game, The Twin Snakes. <laughs> um, so, what else could they possibly announce for the uh, Nintendo Switch? Do you think? Tim, my friend, you know what it is that I want. What is it? It's Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing, it's yeah. It's Animal Crossing for Switch. <laughs> I want this so much. 
I think about this every day of my life. It's not an exaggeration. I think, man, wouldn't it be so great if I could sit here and then just open up my switch and then all my friends would be there. Mint would be there and Crossing Isabel would animals. be there. Isabel better be in it. Isabel is definitely going to be in it. Everyone loves her. I just want Animal Crossing for they, Switch. They also need Isabel in Smash, but she needs to be so strong that no one can hit her. Yeah. No one can ever hurt Isabel. Yeah. Why would you why would you do that? She needs to be able to just light people on fire. She's my friend. She's beautiful. She's precious. Like you should press you the You can't hurt her. You should press the 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 A button and uh just all of Isabel's enemies explode yep. like like Tetsuo exploding people. And she just Akira. smiles politely at you. Yeah. And that's that's the only thing she can do. And then if you pick her at your friend's party, they'll be like, "Ah, oh, man, why do you got to pick Isabel? And then, you know, that's it. Yeah. And that's, that's it. They'll just be like that. But it's just, fine. They'll, they'll, because, you know, be the, nobody wants to hurt Isabel. And then if you have two Isabels on the screen and you both press the A button, they the, just the hug. switch explodes. That's exactly what will happen. First yeah. they hug and then the switch explodes. It's a paradox. Yeah, exactly. Uh, let's continue to the next one. Uh, so there's like a Star Fox racing game. Yeah. That Retro Studios is you supposedly know, working on Star Fox Racer. I, I'm not mad about that. I like Star Fox. First of all, why not F Zero, buddy? Put F Zero. Like, what do you need to have another future space racing game for? I don't because know. they want to put Star Fox in something. Yep, that's why. Well, that's exactly why. I'll play it because you know I was uh, born stupid and I won't die hungry and I won't die hungry for a Star Fox racing game Ayo. Star Fox content yes please right yeah so Mario Maker you know I'd love for that to happen not yeah. just because I want to see more people torture Patrick Klepek with uh, yeah, Mario owned. Maker levels um, yeah. friend of the show Patrick Klepek Uh I, I think also I didn't get to experience Mario Maker. On, a lot of people didn't. Because I didn't have a Wii U, buddy. Yeah. I just didn't. So on the Nintendo Switch, you're going to be able to just touch it. And you can level. just touch it with a little hand. Touch I want that. You can be editing your levels on the bus, on the train, on I an want airplane. That. I want I'm going to tell you what my favorite thing in the world to watch is just streamers playing Mario Maker levels in oh, 2018. They're still Lord. doing it, and it's beautiful. People still make really creative and cool levels. I love them. I love watching them. It's bonkers, and uh, I think Nintendo would be doing it right if they announced that. Um, and also, Mario Maker Mario in, in Smash, right? Yeah! Boom! Totally. Oh, there should be a Mario Maker level in Smash. Oh, yeah. That would be amazing. Where players can make it as they play. Yeah, or just you'll see a big hand moving elements out of the way, you know, as you yeah. play. That would oh, be really cool. Oh, yeah. That would be super cool. Shin Megami Tensei Five. I need it like air. Which was announced recently-ish, uh, kind of a long time ago, actually. There was a little teaser to announce that it was happening, and then there was a longer teaser with a little bit of information. Uh-huh. And then there's just been kind of nothing. Little teaser's not enough. There I need was little a Caesar. Pizza, pizza. Pizza, pizza. I, mean, I need them to just give it to me. Don't yeah. tease it. Give it to me. I love the Shin Megami Tensei series. I think they are really fascinating, weird games. I love oh, Demon yeah. Negotiation. I They're love weird as heck. The, all the very vaginal and phallic designs for these demons. I love how nihilistic they are. Yeah. Um, and I like that I love you handheld fight nihilistic and, demons. and kill God in those games. I yeah, love that Yeah, fight part. the God, kill the God. Hell yeah. You know I what? I, I just played, want it on Switch. I, I just played want it on Switch so bad. number four until its wheels fell off. It's a good game. Those wheels couldn't stay on that I really thing. love also the aesthetic of uh -huh. uh, the number three, that game. Oh yeah, beautiful game. Nocturne. It, Nocturne game. is a gorgeous looking game, especially because it's all rendered in like grays and browns, but it still has manages to make everything feel like really deep and crunchy. It it's has, it's it one has, of these. It has triumphant uh, art direction. We, we could talk about that for a couple uh, forever, hours. Or forever. we could talk about Metroid Prime Four. Yeah, Maddie Myers out announced. there somewhere is it's crying softly to herself thinking believe, about Metro Prime 4. I believe they're going to show it. I hope so. Maybe it won't be playable in their booth, but I think they're going to show it. <laughs> Last year when they announced this, I Maddie Myers from Compete is a huge Metroid fan. She wrote an Very EP big Metroid fan. about uh, Samus. She wrote a, an EP about Samus. So it, it's really good. Oh, yeah. Um, and as soon as I saw Metroid Prime 4... I just texted her on my phone because she did not yet work here. I, she'd worked here, yeah, she did work here. Um, I texted her on my phone and I was like, hey, Maddie, are you are you okay right now? And she was like, I didn't know I could feel like this. <laughs> like, wow. About games. 
That's so exciting. It's so exciting when you something just like takes you by surprise and it's like exactly what you want. I'm which gonna is say why this, they need to have Animal Crossing on Switch so uh, I can feel like that again. Yeah, feeling good is good. Yes. I'm going to bring it back home, though, and I'm going to say Metroid Prime 1 was the best. However, Metroid Prime 4, time for some more. Hell yeah. Like, give it to me. Um, Dragon Quest Eleven. Square Enix has shown this. It's coming to PS4 and Steam. It you didn't come out on Steam in the in in uh, Japan. Uh, however, it also did not come out on Switch yet in Japan. It came out on 3DS. So I think they're going to announce it for the Nintendo Switch. I think that's actually very likely. Yeah. That it'll be announced for the Nintendo You've already uh, played it, right? I, I played it until... I was going to think of a different article. I, I played it until its hat fell off. So, yeah. So, no, yeah. I don't want to say till its On Tim's desk, there is a hand-knit slime. It's very cute. My uh, my buddy Brent Porter's uh, girlfriend, Tina, made that. It's really, really cute. It's a yarn buddy. It was a birthday present for me five years ago. I love it. And Every time I see it, I kind of pet it. It's really cute. I love Dragon Quest, and it's going to be on the Switch, and I think it's going to have multiple graphical options. Like the Ooh. Nintendo 3DS one had 3D, and then it had 2D sprite art. I think it's going to have all like those and the 3D on the Switch. That's my prediction. Let me know. Uh, if I'm wrong, come We're back to this video find out soon. And, uh, and tell me I was wrong. I'll already know because it will have already happened. <laughs> yeah. So next thing, Nintendo has said they're not having a virtual console, no. which is such a Nintendo way to say, to, to confirm or deny something. Yeah. It, it just, to me, it just means that they're not going to call it virtual console. Yeah. That's pretty much all it means. I think it would be really weird if they didn't open up their library of classic games to people yeah. in some way. They have to announce a plan for it at E3. I feel like they definitely will. And that's all so. I know. I, I think so. It would be disappointing if they didn't, for sure. That's all I know about it. So, oh, and then Dark Souls Remastered was not released on the Switch yet. However, it's coming soon. Yep. We're going to get the release date for that. I bet they put Link in it. That's what I'm saying. They put a Link suit into Skyrim, good. and it looks horrible. It looks really bad. It looks like your looks grandma knitted you a Link. It looks yeah, it like, looks like that sad Halloween costume where your mom oh, you just yeah. your mom who doesn't make Halloween costumes but wanted you to be what you wanted made you a link costume. You're, and you, you are a little bit embarrassed putting it on, but your you, mom made it you for you. It. So you have to wear it. You've come home the day before Halloween from school. Yep. You put your lunchbox on the table and then you see mom is in the living room with a pile of newspapers and a bucket of paint. Yep. And you're like uh oh. There's a She's hot glue gun and costume. a bunch of scraps of felt, and you're like, I don't know what's going to happen here. She's making you a Halloween costume out of painted newspaper. It's not good. And I don't know why that is what occurs to me. That's how it is. That's there, how it looks. No it's more scary. heroes? There's going to be a new No More Heroes game. I want it. Boom. I, mean, I really Travis want it. Travis Strikes Back, whatever it is, they're going to have a release date for that. I want it. Give it to me. Give it now. You know, I. Uh, Nah, forget about it. The last note on this page is very funny, so oh, let's oh, yeah. let's get well, there. So Metroid, I, I want to predict that there's going to be a Metroid Prime trilogy. I mean, yeah, after doing four, they might as well. And then there's going to be Fortnite. It's going to be announced, like, probably announced during our recording. We literally already know. Yeah, there, yeah someone else will leak some, another part of Fortnite yeah, on Switch. There's definitely Fortnite on Switch. So they would, already leaked. The, the update patch was leaked, and the icon for Switch was leaked. Uh, yeah. It's coming to Switch. Nintendo would be rubes to just not say something about it, like, now. Yeah, it would uh, be So will there be silly. Mario in Fortnite? Yes. Okay, Mario in Fortnite. Luigi That's a prediction. in Fortnite? Okay, next one. They're going to announce a bunch of Wii U ports. Yeah, they always do. Uh, Super Mario 3D World, Mario Galaxy, uh, those Zelda HDs. And then here's my long shot thing that I need. Yeah. A 2D Zelda. They're going to announce a 2D Zelda from the Link Between World team. Maybe it's a sequel. Maybe it like includes Link Between Worlds. They're going to announce a 2D Zelda. I just feel this so strongly. That's I all that I want. It would be a bad idea. I don't think they're going to do that, but... It would be the best. It would be cool. It would be cool. And then there's going to be Diablo 3, right? Yeah. Duh. They're going to show Octopath Traveler. Square Enix is probably going to have a whole bunch of games. Yeah, of course. We can talk about those later. And then the final prediction for Switch, Mother 3. Kohler really wants this to happen. I still, I don't have faith, friends. I don't think it's going to happen. I was at a dinner party back in 2009 with someone who, and then someone who worked on Mother 3 was there, and we talked about Mother 3, and he told me in confidence that it will never come out in America. And he told me this, He's and he told me the reason. And I was like, wow. 
Is it music licensing stuff? Uh, no, no. It's far weirder and more interesting than that. But okay. we're not going to get into it. I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> you, you're on. It's recorded now, buddy. Now we're going to talk about Square Enix. <laughs> Camera was on. Square Enix. Say what you will. It's a better name than Tecmo Koei because I can't remember what order. It's Koei the, Tecmo, te right? It's Koei Tecmo. Tecmo Koei. I don't know because it's not condensable into a word as catchy as Squeenix. Do, do you remember Ruby Party though? Oh, Ruby Party. Ruby Party. That's the best kind of a party. A beautiful group of individuals. They um, really were. Fascinating people. So what are they going to have? Final Fantasy XV DLC? Uh, do you think they're going more? to try to expand Luna Freya's role? I know that they're going to expand oh, yeah. the villain's role in the story. Give him some backstory. Every single character is going to get a full TV miniseries worth listen, of content. Listen, I want this. Yeah, I want yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I want more stuff that makes the whole game just feel more suspense. It, it, it felt like a full story just with a disappointing ending. It's like a whole Fabula Nova Crystallis at this point. Yeah, I... I don't it feels better implemented though than 13 and all of 13 sequels you know yeah yeah you just get like a, a little one game. chunk of new story a tiny chunk not a big old chunk mm -hmm. a tiny chunk of new story that expands part of the game that you wanted expanded upon and it, it just feels good you get to dip in and out and it's that's EA all you sports get. it's in yeah. the game exactly they keep putting it in the game so uh will they announce final fantasy 16 no <laughs> no okay because i saw that on a lot of i read a lot of rumors articles uh, like a lot. If they announce so it, many people I will are talking be very about surprised. Final Fantasy 16. So here's if they my prediction. It, I will be the person screaming like a tiny child sitting the baby Christ. Like this. Here's my prediction, and this is true. Okay. I believe they're going to announce that the Final Fantasy 7 remake is Final Fantasy 16. That's what I believe. What if they skip gonna 16 and just make it 17? Final Fantasy 17? And then 16 will come oh out like God. 20 years from now. So it's like video game companies have flirted with this idea for so long. Uh, Street Fighter 4 mm -hmm. canonically takes place between Street Fighter 2 and 3 in the in the timeline. First of all, why? Second it's not of all, necessary. okay, you know, I'll be a part of this world. Here's what I think. I think just make a remake of the game and then call it a sequel. Final Fantasy 7 remake is Final Fantasy 16 or Final Fantasy 7. You heard it here first. They yeah. announced Final Fantasies 10 or 9, 10 and 11 on the same day. I don't know if this is this is a fun fact that I remember. They announced all three of those on the same day, which was oh, a, a really big that. day. That was weird. So, if they announce Final Fantasy 16 and 17 on the same day and 17 is the Final Fantasy 7 remake because it's called Final Fantasy Cross 7. Yep. That is a thing that that actually is a thing they would do. I will cackle so hard my trachea will dissolve. That would be too bad because he wouldn't be able to make videos anymore. Yeah, wouldn't be able to to breathe. Um, <laughs> so they're gonna have they're gonna have Octopath Traveler, uh, which yep. is cool. Looks like I, a cool game. I think they're gonna have a bunch of games for the Switch. They're gonna Hope milk so. that Switch. I mean, they're gonna Switch get Switch milk. Console and yeah. people are losing their shit over Octopath Traveler. Yeah, they're screaming like like banshees. They are. You ever heard of Banshee's scream? It's, it's loud. It's terrible. So they're gonna be they're gonna be screaming. Yep. And I'm gonna be screaming right next to them if they announce Final Fantasy VI in like that graphical style. For that the would Nintendo be Switch. so dope. Oh my god. And they're gonna call it Final Fantasy VI. That's what they're gonna call it. Yeah. Yep. Nintendo they will. Nintendo Switch exclusive. Square you fools. Do it. Dragon Quest XI for the Switch is gonna own. I want to reiterate that. Uh, so, uh, 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 Eric Van Allen, uh, a, a good friend of our website who works uh, here. Yeah, he works for Compete. He works for Compete, which is Kotaku. Well, it's Kotaku, but we Mar own that's them. married to Deadspin. We so own it's like them. When, when two websites love each other very much, they come up with a subdomain. No. That's what Compete is. No. Uh, uh, is Kotaku the mommy or the daddy at that point? We're who the cares? daddy. <laughs> Eric Van Allen predicts, and I'm actually with him on this mm. 100%, that Square Enix is going to announce. Adam Jensen from Deus Ex, Chloe from Life is Strange, and The Thief from Thief are going to be in Kingdom Hearts 3. They're going to announce they each have their own worlds. I believe that. I really want to go to Life is Strange World. Life is Strange World. That well, would be amazing. It would be called uh, It's a Strange World After All would be the name of that level. I just thought of that off the top of my head. That's good quality. Uh, so actually, when he when he DM'd that prediction to me, well, it wasn't a prediction. It was it was a, a hot tip. Just it a, wasn't a hot tip. We, it was, he was a joke. We, he made. we were joking over DMs. Yeah. He he spelled thief uh, T H E I F uh, accidentally the second time he said thief thief thief. 
and that led me to think, what would you call, uh, what would you call uh, uh, somebody who doesn't believe in God in the thief world? And it would be an atheist. Was uh, what I thought of when I saw thief spelled that way. An atheist. Uh, well, welcome back to the show. Uh, I can't wait for E3. Day I'm two. Almost as tired as I would be at we're this almost, point in E3. We're, we're, we're almost done. We're almost done. <laughs> Battlefield V. We're, we're not talking about EA. Sorry. Electronic Arts. They make art with computers. Yep. That's my quip for that. It doesn't actually say that in the prompter. Uh, EA's got Battlefield Five. Yep. Um, I'm going to play that actually immediately after arriving in Los Angeles. I have to go oh meet boy. EA at a hotel room. Not in my hotel. I wish they would just come to my room. EA. Come to my room. There's a pool on the roof. We can go float in it after you show me Battlefield cooler. 5. So I'm going to play Battlefield 5. I'm actually kind of excited about that. Uh, there's girls in it. Yeah, that's cool. I like girls. Yeah, it owns. So here's what I want to see from EA. Yep. They announced that Respawn, makers of Titanfall, first of all, Titanfall 3 or Titanfall G, TFO, Do you the remember universe. when the Titanfall Twitter account was just tweeting at people to ask if they tried Titanfall 2? Yeah, that was hilarious. That was, do, you think do you remember when the Smash Mouth uh, Twitter was just tweeting at people who confused the song uh, All Star for being from the Shrek soundtrack when really it was a number one hit before? Yep. That was, a, that was a good example. I really liked that also. So we've been told that Respawn is working on a Star Wars game. Yes. Right? So I want to see that. Like, I, I, like, very, very honestly want to see that. I like a Star Wars. Respawn, in case nobody knows, in case you don't remember, it's like, it's okay if you don't know this. The the founders of Respawn are the people who made Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 1 and Modern Warfare 2, which are two extremely good single-player campaign games. Uh, Titanfall 2, extremely good single-player campaign game. A Star Wars single-player campaign game by those individuals Everybody wants that. Yeah, it'll, Everybody it'll be incredible. Everybody in the whole world wants that. And I think it would be really neat if they announced, if they showed that at E3. Yeah. So now let's get to Activision. They've got Destiny 2 and Call of Duty Black Ops 4 and a Spyro the Dragon collection. Spyro was the thing I am most excited for out of all that. I need the I'm Spyro. Not gonna I need the Spyro. Yeah, give me the Spyro. Actually, that sounds, sounds like a bacteria. Yeah, you know, I wish they would just the do a whole presentation about how Destiny 2 is fun if you're like a little bit stoned with your friends and you just get on voice chat and you just do random shit for like two hours, which yeah. is absolutely what I do when I play Destiny 2. I love uh, playing Destiny. It's it's fun. It's, you just, it's, like, it's, it's just, such a it's chill. It's fine. It's fine. It's, it's such it's a fine. beverage game. It is It is absolutely a beverage game. It's, it's like beverage. drinking a Diet Coke. It's straight up a beverage game. Yep. Now, we're on to our final one here. Oh my uh, God, yes. Ubisoft. So, Ubisoft, we've been told there's going to be a Splinter Cell. Number one, give it to me. Right? Mm -hmm. There's a Division 2. More like the subtraction because there's the people are, you know, the, the human population it's is okay. dwindling. Tim, you don't have to make that joke. Work. Assassin's Creed Odyssey is confirmed. Assassin's yeah. Creed in Greece. Assassin's Fine. Greek. We made these jokes last week. We did. Just watch last week's show. There's a game called Skull and Bones, Pirates. which was the pirate game that Pirates. they teased. Yeah. I think it would be cool to see that. And Beyond Good and Evil 2. What is beyond uh, good and evil? There is no, uh... I don't know. More good and more evil. I'm tired, man. There's good and there's evil. Uh, I guess all that's left is holy terror. Is it Nietzsche who said that? I think Have so. Have you ever known a dude, like a man's man, who just, like, shows up to work one day and goes, uh, hey, everybody, how you doing? He's drinking his coffee. And then someone's like, how you been, man? And he goes, yeah, I've been all right. Hey, have any of you guys ever read Schopenhauer? Have you ever known, like, a guy like that? Because I have like three times in my life. That's very specific. Yeah, yeah, just like a man's man who you wouldn't expect to read a book. No yeah. offense to man's men, because I'm one of those. Yeah. Right? You know what I love but, to do? There's a great yeah. article about this. Yeah, let's hear and it. And I started doing it too, is uh, pretending to not know who Zizek is. And so oh, people funny. will try to explain to you who Zizek is. So the thing about Zizek I've is I've been it, eating out of the trash can it, all my life. Yes. We have all always been eating out of the trash. Um, yeah. It's great because people, those people who really want to explain to you who Zizek is are very wrong about what Zizek believes. Yeah. All I know is that the man's been eating out of a trash can all his life. We all have. So <laughs> I believe that's all we have to talk about for E3. I already have packed my suitcase because here's a tip, a life tip. When you're going to travel and you have the luxury of knowing that you're traveling, pack your suitcase 48 hours in advance. Or just do it. It's really nice. Pack your suitcase uh, right at the night before, literally the last thing you no. do, and then stay no. up all night because you're very anxious. Don't do it. Don't do it. 
just try it. Try it once. So I'm going to get to E3. I'm going to float in that pool face down, possibly until I die. You might die. Yeah. Uh, however, I will have eaten a lot of food before then. Day two just be very happy. of E3. Just I dense. cannot wait for day two of E3 because here's what's going to happen. You'll have survived. Here's what's going to happen. Okay. I will have not had a stroke. Fantastic. I will have not had an aneurysm. Fantastic. I will have survived all of these announcements because I've adequately prepared by imagining and predicting and making jokes. Okay, so I'm now, my my mind is steeled against the fury of E3. So I will have survived. However, here's what's going to happen. What's going to happen? morning of day two. I'm going to feel a nudge at the side of my bed. Yes. Someone will be kicking the side of my bed. I will open my eyes. I will look up. The bellhop from the hotel is going to be standing in my room uninvited. And he is going to say, hey, man. Hey, buddy, can you get up? Buddy, you got to go. We saw some of your videos on Kotaku.com. Here, man, here's an airplane ticket, $200 cash. No, you got to go right now, man. Come on. Here, let me help you pack that. And then here's the trick is my suitcase will already be packed because... Because you pack 48 hours in advance. Because here's, here's how you pack yep. for 48 hours in advance. Just don't change your clothes. One, one set of clothes. You're going to smell so good at this conference. Well, it's brought to you by Axe Body Spray. <laughs> <laughs> have, you, have you ever mistaken Monster Energy Drink for Axe Body it's Spray? It's real easy to do. And then poured a can on the top of your head till it trickled down underneath your shirt? Well, so have I, buddy. I've walked around smelling like a drugstore candy aisle instead of like a drugstore shampoo aisle. You know, today... That's how you don't pack. I am wearing a perfume that is called Book. You can take a whiff if you want. You can't smell it. Does it smell like books? I mean, uh, I, our Alex Better, life hacker, social media manager, he was like, ooh, like, great perfume. I was like, yeah, it's called Book. And he was like, yeah, you know, you do kind of smell like a, a, like a sweet Does library it, book. It smells like you escaped a library fire? And just like so many things sort of slotted into place about my dating life. Like that my choice of perfume is one that smells like a fucking book. Here's what you need to do. I do smell do. like a very interesting book. If you're looking for dudes, yeah, you need that perfume that smells like Fortnite. <laughs> if that fails, what is that? If that what does fails, it smell like? rub a whole bunch of Cheetos on your neck. Yeah, that's, that's all we have time for. I was born stupid. However, I will not die hungry. Video games forever. Kotaku.com. E3. Deal with it. I have to go to the bathroom so bad I might die if I don't stand up right now. Oh, oh, that hurts. <laughs>